Okay guys, welcome back to the UK YouTube channel for a bit of a different video today. Um, I'm going to be jumping on the maker. I'm going to be ranking every single, not every single, but most of the Australian fast food chains. The tiers we have are elite, great, not bad, wouldn't pick disgrace and then just haven't tried. So yeah, let's get right into this. Um, I have an opinion on most. I'm just going to remove the ones I haven't tried. It says this is Victorian fast food, so I might have not tried a few, so... I'm going to go with I'm, I'm going to be switching between these two i'm going to go not bad at the moment now vietnamese is my favorite cuisine in the world i absolutely love vietnamese food and um it's very very risky absolutely loving vietnamese food and going in to try a fast food version of vietnamese and what you can do with fast food vietnamese it's not bad it's not bad i can go to a, a very very local five minutes away from my house absolutely world-class vietnamese um, for five bucks, a nice, um, noodle salad, but, yeah, for what you can do with fast food, I think roll is okay. Sushi, sushi, I'll have to go with great, um, whenever I make a shopping center, this is probably the staple I get. You can get a soft shell crab roll, um, maybe get a bit of nigiri, get a bit of spicy crab, soft shell crab, there's a lot of options, and you can really never go wrong with whatever you pick. I think Domino's is in between Elite and Great. I'm going to put Domino's top of Great at the moment. Um, their pizzas are absolutely incredible. They can be very, very greasy at times. Their desserts are very, very good. The chicken is like, amazing. Um, we'll get into Pizza Hut in a second. But yeah, I'll, I'll put Domino's in Great. I think Guzman, I'm going to put above Domino, Dom, Domino's and I'm going to put them at the top of great for what you can do with fast food it's very very good mexican you can get much better mexican locally but for what you can do with fast food it is quite quite good Bur their burrito bowls are really really good um their produce tastes very very fresh you know if you get a salsa you'll be getting real tomatoes you'll get real avocado real lettuce and a little burrito bowl um yeah very very nice pizza hut it's going to go on elite for me and this is a really really strange one because i haven't i haven't had pizza hut until last week since about 2014 and I had the worst experience with a pizza I could ever have. I'd actually have to put it in disgrace. The other day I had Pizza Hut. Um, I spent $50 on it, which probably would have helped. But two boxes of six wings, one mango habanero sauce, the other chipotle. They were both absolutely incredible. The chicken was so succulent, so moist. The sauce was very, very good. That habanero mango gave a really, really nice chili kick. And then the pizza is even better than Domino's. The deep pan crust, absolutely phenomenal. A nice double pepperoni pizza. Pizza Hut, you're an elite. Cold Rock, I'll put it top of not bad. I, the thing is with Cold Rock, it, I don't even know if you can call that really a fast food chain. Um, it's an ice cream shop. It's very, very good, but it's an ice cream shop. What else can you do with an ice cream shop? Um, yeah, not bad. Sumo Salus? I wouldn't pick it. I'm not saying Sumo Salus is bad by any means, but I wouldn't pick it. If I had a choice of Pizza Hut Guzman, Domino Sushi Sushi, Cold Rock, not definitely not Cold Rock, or Rolg at a food court, or sumo salad. I'm not going with the sumo salad unless I'm on a diet, realistically. I've had salad from there once, and it was actually quite good. But I'm, pick I'm picking other things over it, and that's, that's unfortunately the truth. Sushi Hub, however, I'm not sure if this is in Victoria. Let's have a look. Do they have them in Victoria? They do have them in Victoria. I thought, I thought it was maybe just a uh, Perth thing, but Sushi Hub... I'll get bomb there to Billy. It's bigger than Sushi Sushi. I, I love my Japanese food. Um, and they have got such a wide range for a very, very quick on-the-go Japanese uh, food. It's very, very good. Like, if I'm in the Perth CBD, I quickly want to grab some food and I don't want to feel like absolute shit by going to KFC. I'm going to go to Sushi Hub. I'm going to grab a couple pieces of seared salmon nigiri. Maybe even a scallop nigiri. Grab a couple of sushi rolls. Um, grab some aburi, some sashimi. It's very, very good. And it's a very, very good choice for a quick meal. Mad Mex, I'm, I'm going to put at the top end of what we can pick. Um, I've already said... Uh, Mexican, you can't do much with fast food. I think Guzman do a really, really good job with that. Um, but Mad Max is just awful. Um, I've had it on, not awful, it's not a disgrace, but it's not great. Um, I'll, it's probably better. Actually, I'll put it at the end of Sumo I'd probably prefer Sumo Salad. Um, with Mad Max, I've, I've had it twice. Once, um, in this, uh, they had it at a shopping center. 
Um, I, ha I had a burrito, and it was the driest, least succulent piece of meat. The cheese seemed unfresh. And Mad Max, you're going in disgrace. I think it's absolutely terrible. The other time I had it in an airport, I had some nachos, and there was an elastic band in there that was like... The cheese was awful, I, I don't even want to talk about it. I think KFC has to go in Elite, and I think it is top of Elite. Um, Pizza Hut for range is much better, but KFC is KFC, you know? Like, you won't be having a Mountain Dew with your Zinger Box on a 40 degree summer day. I just don't think it really gets much bigger than that, so I'm going to have to put KFC in Elite. Subway, top of great. It shat on way too much. Um, you feel fresh every time you eat it, even if your sub isn't so healthy. Um, it it makes you feel fresh, you know, grab a bit of avo, grab almost all of the salads. It is very, very good Subway, and it, you always feel good after eating it, always fills you up. Uh, sushi, sushi, we've already done. Salsas, I'm going to put in the middle of not bad. I don't think salsas is that bad when it comes to fast food Mexican. It, it's okay. I've had a burrito bowl from there. It was quite good. I've had... Um, a burrito from there and it was quite poor so not bad it's okay I'm gonna put New Zealand natural premium ice cream and haven't tried because I have tried it but I'm not gonna call it a fast food um, pie face I have tried it not really gonna call it a fast food La Porchetta that's literally a local restaurant to me I have no idea why that's on the tier list Grilled on the other hand will go probably second in elite Grilled is absolutely phenomenal in my eyes um, some of the burgers are absolutely phenomenal. On some of your burgers, you can get a bit of halloumi, get a bit of avocado, get a nice succulent piece of chicken, nice succulent piece of beef. Got the vegetarian options, which I don't get. You can choose your bun. The whole run setup of grill is absolutely phenomenal, and it, they've got really, really good food, if I'm being honest. Hungry Jacks. Bottom of great. Um, I like Hungry Jacks, and for a while it was probably one of my um, favourite burger places, but... Just goes to be repetitive after a while, like the chips are nice, um, the burgers are nice, but they're okay, they're okay, they're okay. There's, there's nothing really bad for me to say about them. Red Rooster, controversial, they're going above Hungry Jackson in great, I, Red Rooster is phenomenal and I don't care what anyone else says, um, their chicken is the best chicken you'll find around. Um, their chips are some of the best chips you'll find around. Um, their TikTok page is absolutely elite. Everything about Red Rooster is go good. Red Rooster, you're in great. Hog's Breath I've actually never tried. Um, Zimbrero, that's go go probably just behind Guzman. Um, that's definitely the second best fast food Mexican. Um, Zimbrero is absolutely superb. The nachos I had from there was genuinely probably a bowl of nachos that was probably better than a local Mexican place. Like, not like in Mexico, but like for a, for a Mexican, or for a nice and Mexican place in Perth, a, a bowl of nachos I had from there was absolutely superb. The fresh tomatoes, the fresh avocado, um, the pulled pork was so succulent, moist and soft, just melting in your mouth. Zambrero, you're in great. Krispy Kreme, I'm going to put in haven't tried now. I'm going to put the ones I don't really think should be there and haven't tried. Um, in fact, I'm going to put Cold Rock there. I, yeah, that's it. Yeah. All of the fries I actually haven't tried. Um, I've walked past it a lot. McDonald's. As an Australian, I'm going to have to put KFC at the top because it's simply so good as in a box um, on a summer's day. But McDonald's... I've had some of my worst pieces of, you can't even call it food ever there. But simply for the history, simply for the legendariness, that's not even a word. Simply for the range, simply for the value, simply of the easiness of getting a quick Mac Mickey D's. It has to go on Elite for me. Nando's on the other hand is second top of Elite above Macca's. Nando's is superb. Nando's is superb. You can get a few good chicken tenders. You can get a really, really good burger. Peri Peri chips. Best chips in the game. Don't even argue. It, they, they are absolutely phenomenal. Nando's. I, last time I went there, I had a 40 minute wait. It was so worth it. Thank you, Nando's. Walking a box. Uh, now known as Noogle Box. I haven't had this in a long time. Top of not bad. I haven't had it in a long time. Where I did have the noodles from there, they were actually quite good. So yeah, top of not bad. A Porto I actually haven't tried. Um, already done Subway. I've already done Sushi Sushi, which will bring us 
to the end of the tier list. At the top, we've got KFC, Nando's, McDonald's, Grill, Pizza Hut, and Sushi Hub in great Subway, Guzman with Gomez, Zambrero, Domino's, Sushi, Sushi, Red Rooster, and Hungry Jacks. Not bad. Noodle Box, Salsa's Roll, Morgan Pick, Sumo Salad, and Disgrace, Mad Mix. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Have a good day and see you later.